we talking about on the way in here? OnlyFans? How we don't like... Uh... No, we were talking about OnlyFans. Yeah, we were. We saw someone... That we, we, know, we know that we know on OnlyFans, and good for her. It's I think it's yeah, yeah. You know, it's, it is what it is. It is what it is. It is what it is. <laughs> Emil was you were going. I clicked through the menu. Yeah, you could buy socks that were worn. Worn socks, and you could also buy panties that were worn. Worn, and you said, I think this is good because why? It gets us one step closer to good public transportation, and here's why. <laughs> Because in Japan, you can buy women's underwear in vending machines. Anywhere you want. Anywhere you want. You can go if you're feeling horny, if you just need to feel a connection to another human being. You can go insert however many yen it takes and purchase underwear that has been worn by a woman. Japan has some of the best public transportation in the entire world. They're clean, they're fast. My logical leap is that... If it gets us closer to being like Japan, I say I'm all for it. Right. Sell your underwear. So Famously low inflation, too. Yeah. You guys want low inflation? You guys want bullet trains? Start <laughs> buying used panties. Yeah, you got to crawl before you can walk, right? Yeah. <laughs> exactly. So there was that and, and the So ass- baby steps. Yeah, baby steps. Hell, I would sell my used underwear if, if anybody wanted it. The annoying thing is people will comment like that they want it, but they won't actually buy our underwears. Well... I, I mean, we could see, we could challenge them and say, okay, send me money okay, and I'll, it's up I'll on send them. it to you. You know what's perplexing to me is how until I was in my 20s, I wore white underwear. Why? Why would they even make white underwear, especially for men? It is weird. Also, I'm talking about the doo-doo stains <laughs> that, 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 were you, that a lot of us were susceptible to as, as kids. The people who, I don't know what you wear, so I might be. I don't wear white underwear anymore. No, I know. I but wear the, boxer briefs. Also, I famously. Are those, are those the loose ones? No, they, they hug. Okay. Because like adults who wear just the straight up shorts, like the loose yeah. boxer what shorts. What are you doing? Insane. Yeah. I also didn't know how to properly wipe my ass until I was like 25. I know. This is one of my favorite stories. Oh, should I tell it? I don't know. It's insane. <laughs> yeah, who cares? We got time. <laughs> Uh, so <laughs> it's a good way to start the episode. So yeah, I didn't know how to, uh, I didn't know what I was also, doing. Also, just for the audience, this is the kind of st- like stuff Ben would tell me when we first met. Well, because that's how you get to know a person. Yeah. <laughs> My older brother was visiting from, I have a half brother who lives in Washington and he was in town <laughs> and... Um, you know, when, when he comes to town, we would get rowdy and I would, my other brothers would try, we would all try to make him laugh and get his attention because brothers crave older brothers' approval. We're driving on the freeway and pulling off on, off this off ramp and my brother Matt was in the car alongside us and my other brother Sam was driving the family minivan. And I said, pull alongside Matt, I'm going to moon him. And I opened the rolling, the sliding door of the minivan and I... I mooned Matt, <clears throat> and then, you know, we had a laugh, and when we pulled over to where we were getting, Matt goes, what is wrong with your ass? And I said, what are you talking about? And he said, it's filthy. <laughs> I was mortified. I was like, well, I mean, yeah, naturally, asses are filthy. And he goes, do you know how to wipe it? <laughs> I, like, I, mean, <laughs> I mean, of course. You, you go to the bathroom, you stand up, and you and he goes, you don't stand up? What are you talking about? And I said, well, yeah, I stand up and I wad a big thing of toilet paper. And uh, he informed me that that's not the proper thing to do because you can get ink blot test action going on. I'm so sorry about this. No, it's okay. But I literally, it got in my head and I was like, okay, maybe I need to ch- change some things around here. And there was a website. How to wipe your butt.com. No way. I swear to God, how to wipe your butt.com. I was using way too much toilet paper. This is so embarrassing. This is one of the first it's funny times this, I actually This embarrassed. debate happened in high school for, for like for you? Only because, you know, we I played sports and there was like a, you know, God, how to wipe your butt.com. No, go on. <laughs> but in the locker rooms and stuff, we would go mess on. around with each other and like bang on the doors and you could always see a little bit in, and we saw our one friend was standing up to wipe, and we were all like, what are you <laughs> doing? <laughs> that was me, man. But then we found out that a lot of people did it. Yeah. We And then we were all asking each other, do you, st- do you sit or stand? Sit or stand? Sit or stand? It is not 
I am an anti stand person. And anyway, well, your butt cheeks kind of close when you. Yeah, exactly. It's it's it defies logic and it is stupid. <laughs> and now I know. Listen, everybody. I'm an adult human being, and I know how to operate as such. And if I were to moon my brother today, you know what he would say? Damn, Damn. that thing's clean as a whistle. <laughs> that was one clean asshole. That was one clean ass. My God, my uh, brother has the cleanest asshole I've ever seen. You know, that is not the first time my ass got me in trouble, either. What do you mean by that? You know what's funny? When we posted that picture of us at the beach, uh-huh. everyone was commenting on your tush. Give me a break. No, really? No, they said you got a huge butt, and really? it's nice. They said I got cake? This picture's on Instagram. Ben's laying down, and you can see just this freaking bubble butt. I do not have a bubble butt, but it looks good in that angle, I gotta say. Why do they call it cake? Because cake is, you know, cake is something that you want a piece of, I guess. Or... And someone got a good tush, damn, you want a piece Or they want to eat that butt. Ooh, yeah, or that. If you know what why it's called cake, please leave a comment and tell us why ass is cake and why mine is particularly juicy and moist. 